I hate to start this on such a bad note, but I think you should know a little bit before I read this. My name is Michael, and to make a long story short, my father passed away four days ago. I wish it were easy for me to tell you that my dad was the best father in the world, but let's just say he wasn't the best when it came to actually parenting. My mom told me he wrote this letter to me just before he died, and forgive me if I don't look, sound, or seem eager to read it, but I already know what kind of person my dad was. Stern, serious, and always kept to himself. When we had his funeral, I didn't even shed a single tear. He would have preferred it that way. What could he have possibly written down that he didn't already tell or drill in me a billion times when he was alive? I guess there's only one way to find out. Dear Michael, by the time you read this, I will have lost my battle with cancer. Spending these past few days in this hospital bed has given me some time to reflect and I want to take the time that I have left to share with you some things. If this letter ever gets to you, I hope that you read it clearly and that you walk away with a much better understanding and view of me. I admit that I was a bit hard on you and I could tell that you didn't fully understand why. So it's time that your old man finally clear the air for once. Michael, I need you to understand that you are so much more than what society tells you. You are strong, not aggressive, you are greater than what any other man can be. This is why those around you plague you with the lies of masculinity. They know that true strength can only be found in facing your weaknesses, and by facing your fears will you come out victorious. I taught you to hide your feelings, and that you must never show fear, because that's what a strong black man does. Well, I was wrong, and for that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the times I told you to suck it up and be a man. I'm sorry for the love you were deprived of because I told you it would make you stronger. I'm sorry for the hugs you didn't receive and the times you felt alone. However you're feeling right now towards me, know that all those emotions are valid, necessary, and completely normal. Tears don't make you weak, son. Don't bottle them until you explode. You deserve to be loved and nurtured. There is no box to fit in. You are allowed to smile, dance, and run through the fields in bliss, and so I ask you to do just that. Live your life unapologetically and carefree. And if I do not live to tell you this, know that I am so, so proud of the man that you've become, and that I will always and forever love you. Never forget that, son. Never. Love always. Dad.